Well, hey guys, I have been up doing some cleaning, ran my little Roomba. Like it's a little sporadic, a little haphazard. It kind of, you know, goes wherever it wants to go, but it really helps cut down on the dust accumulation on the floor surfaces. But speaking of cleaning gadgets, I just got a Bissell wet vac and I'm dying to give it a try on my headboard because, you know, I vacuum my headboard, but um, I really want to try it on there. I feel like I'll get like, I don't know, a bunch of dust that's embedded out and headboards, like upholstered headboard, harbors dust, shedding skin cells, and that cultivates dust mites, which can aggravate allergies for sure. Isn't tree chestnut? This I really like. It's really helping to smooth the skin surface. It's not irritating. Although I did find, you know, I've been putting it on my neck and I did find that I got a little bit of dryness back here. So I just have been putting the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast balm back there to kind of soothe it. But otherwise, this has been really, really nice. It's pretty mild. It's good for dry skin because alpha hydroxy acids, they help soften rough bumpy skin and exfoliate i just kind of paint it on my cheeks and chin and nose and forehead but i avoid around my eyes what's going on with my ear i have a little red dot there do you guys see that it must be from where my headphones are pressing weird I can't really see what it is. I also avoid my lips um, because glycolic acid and lactic acid can be very irritating to your lips because there's really not much for the acid to work on on the skin of the lips. There's like no stratum corneum there, so it's really common to get a lot of dryness and irritation around the lips from using products like this if you're not careful. Like this morning I actually came in with Vaseline, back on, back on Vaseline. I finished the Up and Up Healing Ointment, dupe for Aquaphor. Finished a whole jar of that and I've been making my way through this because I put this all over my feet, my legs, lips, hands i mean it's it's really a dry skin workhorse but i put it on my lips helps keep them you know it helps keep this if it happens to migrate to that area keeps my lips from getting dry and chapped so today i'm going to come in for my sunscreen with this came in one of the advent calendars the ionic um centella calming daily sunscreen it's an organic ak chemical sunscreen i believe um, and I tried it out when I unboxed it for you guys, like on the back of my hand. I really liked the texture. I'm kind of thinking it may be similar to like the Madagascar Centella, which I also got in the calendar and have been using. Love these Korean sunscreens. They're like really moisturizing and This brand, I've tried a lot of things from them over the years and pretty much everything I've tried, I've really enjoyed. So that about does it hydrated moisturized ready to start the day just need of course you guessed it coffee time oh i'm laughing at myself because wait until you see what i am wearing it's like oh my god <laughs> you wackadoodle you i don't want to be sipping on my coffee in a victorian corset whatever <laughs> move over <laughs> i'm ready to walk the runway okay on the bottom i'm wearing this couture fleece <laughs> okay this blanket though in all seriousness i bought this from walmart a couple of years ago after the holidays it was on clearance and i was like whatever i just want a little blanket to wrap around when my legs get cold when i'm wearing shorts inside or whatever whatever I didn't expect this to last. I thought it was gonna dissolve. But when I tell you, this is exactly like it was when I bought it. It's, it's such good quality. This, I love. This is another thing I can live in. It's a little 
like cardigan robe. It has pockets. It is so soft. I bought this about a month ago, I wanna say. It has a little hood. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I really need to focus, I like to put a hood on because I find that it just kind of cancels out the distractions. And to complete the ensemble for an accessory, if you want to go hands-free, you just take your hair claw clamp out and clip it in place. And you are ready, you are ready to, to dance the night away. <laughs> so I got this candle as a gift for the holidays, Fortune and Flame Eggnog Scent. It's really a nice candle. It's got one of those crackalackin' wicks though, or two I should say, to be accurate. Um, it's nice, I'm almost finished with it. FYI, my treadmill, which I've had since February of 2020, a few months before the holiday, it just kaput went out. So I actually had it hauled off uh, to a donation place that I think could repair it. That treadmill, as a side note, was excellent. Like, I have nothing bad to say about it. I got my money's worth out of that thing for sure because I used it every day from 2020 through 2023. And man, uh, it, it really held on strong for a long time. So here's the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat. I have been dying to get one of these for years now because I don't know, I'm just fascinated by sucking gunk out of a carpet. I wanna see like if, if this helps. So I went ahead and filled it up with warm water plus one ounce of this cleaning solution, the oxy spot and stain that came with it. So we're gonna see if this works. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys can see. So importantly, I vacuum first. Now the instructions say, ugh, let me bring them over here. It came with a variety of different head pieces. I'm gonna use this one. Um, let's see, point the tool approximately one inch above the spot or stain and press the spray trigger. Release spray trigger and gently scrub the stain. All right, so it's definitely starting to, I don't know if you can see, it's definitely starting to put the dirty water in the other side. I, I don't know if you can see, there are some stains here. I sprayed the stuff on there. I'm gonna let it sit on there for a few minutes, really soak in. And then let me show you over here. You can see in the nozzle, the fluid getting sucked up. So it definitely has to be wet. Um, It seems like it got some of the stains out, but I went ahead and left the spray on this section for a few minutes while I worked over here. I feel like I got, I made better progress with some of the stains over here. Um, but I'm gonna try this little spot here where I had sprayed and let it sit for a while. I'm starting to think the carpet looks cleaner. Camera light here I'm trying to use for both you and me, but I kind of think it's looking better. Ignore the nasty baseboards, I know. This, this is one of those corners where you forget it exists. Uh, yeah, I 
definitely think the carpet looks cleaner over here. Just looking at it. I don't know. It looks blonder. All right, so I did a whole tank's worth and I do honestly think it looks, I think it looks a little better. So maybe another round and it'll be even better. Like I see here, there's some spots. But check out the gunk that came out of the carpet. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Look at that nasty water. I think that little Bissell gadget, whatever, I think it's good if you have like a pet stain. The way I was using it, I was kind of trying to shampoo the carpet. Oh, albeit it did get, it did get quite a bit of stuff out, but honestly the carpet looks exactly the same. I was looking at the footage, I was like, uh, looks the same. <laughs> but it's satisfying to use nonetheless. And you saw that gunk that came out. So I'm not mad at the hour I just spent doing that because hey, there's a little less dust embedded in the carpet that doesn't come out with regular vacuuming, I guess. So these earrings, I put them in, because why not put earrings on to, to clean a carpet? But these came from uh, Bellamare. It's a, a small business on Etsy. It sends me jewelry from time to time. And I love, they have really cute earrings and bracelets and stuff. She sent this to me as like a little Christmas gift. It's got a little bow on it, isn't that sweet? Matches my, I put on this shirt. I know I had some weird outfit on earlier when I was not feeling like getting dressed, but um, I've got on this burgundy shirt. It matches the beads <laughs> and the earrings. And did, did, I, did I heed my own advice? No, you, you saw me there. No gloves on. And you may think like, all right, you weren't really touching stuff. But that spray combined with the proximity to dust, if you have hand dermatitis, hand eczema, that kind of thing, it can really set you off. Um, it's the kind of thing you don't realize. I washed my hands, of course, before I came over here and sat down. But let me go grab, I washed my hands, but again, did I heed my own advice and put moisturizer on right away? No. Um, this is the hand cream that I've been using a lot. This or petroleum jelly. Um, this is the Gold Bond Eczema Hand Cream. Eczema Relief Hand Cream with colloidal oatmeal. I like this during the day because it absorbs real quickly. Sinks in. Their body needs to come out with some kind of hand gadget. You know, they're a hand. Like these gloves that maybe like have these little balls that roll around and do this part. You know, when you go to get a manicure, I don't get manicures at all much, um, but I always loved it. The way they would massage your hands. I, I, would, I would pay to just have like my forearms and my hands massaged because like, like just everything from here down, I think would be a good use of Whatever they charge to get a manicure, I would rather put that money towards them doing an upper body massage. Shoulders, like when you get when you go get a pedicure, sometimes they'll give you a back rub, like right here, and it always feels really good and relaxing. That's like, that's the best part. <laughs> they should just have like upper body massage services. Anyway, this is really good, um, fast, like, I just put it in, put it on. I can pick up my phone, touch it. The screen's not gonna get all greasy. I could write, practice my cursive. I was telling you guys yesterday, I'm on this kick where I wanna try and force myself to write cursive from time to time just to keep my skills up. I don't know. I guess so. One day, if I'm if I'm feeling frisky, I can uh, I can troll Gen Z, <laughs> write them something, see if they can read it. <laughs> Because I heard they don't know, I heard they don't teach cursive anymore. And it's kind of confusing to read. I'll, I'll admit, it, it, it's a little challenging to read some people's cursive handwriting. You're like, 
I'm fixing to hop in the shower and I am actually going to use the Albaline Hydrating Micellar Milk as a first stop for my double cleanse. I'm actually almost finished with the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I have really been enjoying this, but I pulled this out to feature in my affordable dry skin video. And so I wanna finish it up because I bought this a while ago and I still have quite a bit of it left. It's a really good product. You know, I don't like micellar water, but I do like these micellar milk products because they're almost kind of like a cross between a micellar water mixed with like the Cetaphil Gentle Facial Cleanser. And this one is really inexpensive. It's very similar, actually, this product. It's very, that's probably way too much. It's very similar to Aven has a cleansing lotion that I really like and I frequently recommend. Um, it's, it's it, you know, a great dupe for that because it's significantly less. And Alveline has been around for a long time. See how, how easily it takes off that Lancome Medulla Mascara? So that when I get in the shower, come in with this bad boy, well, yeah, that's gonna wash off. And uh, you know, my face is gonna get getting clean. I've got that cream blush and contour here, plus all my sunscreen. Oh, I just love double cleansing, like, oil, balm, these milky options. The thing I like about this too, in contrast to my cellar water is like this sensory experience, this spread, it's like very relaxing. Whereas my cellar water, I feel like you have to have a cotton pad to get it to stay in place because it's just too, I think that's part of why I don't like it. It's too runny. Um, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'll chat with you guys when I get out. You can see the non-raccoon eye results. And voila. I actually, you know, I did my skincare routine getting out of the shower, got dressed and everything because I can't just leave you guys up there in the tripod. You get like too steamy. I had an older camera, like my, the camera I had before this one, I used to just leave it set up on the tripod. Like I would talk to you guys take a shower, get out of the shower, you'd still be there. And I think that was a mistake because I do think it messed up like the quality for the longest time. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And over time, the camera just like, the camera quality went whoo, like a pretty rapid decline. So I got this newer camera and I have a theory that it was related to it being in here in the steam, even though I'd run that rattly fan. Anyway. That was way too much behind the scenes. You guys are like, we do not care. Um, show us the results. The results are in. See, it did a really good job um, breaking all that stuff up. The epidemic of the caterpillar eyelash, like where it looks like, it, what is that character from the Muppets? She has long hair. You know what I'm talking about? She's like all eyelashes. Yeah, that's what these are like. And like the eyelids are being physically weighed down. like. That has got to go. I, I mean, that has just got to go. It is not good for your eyes at all. Uh, it's not good for your vision, contributes to dry eyes. Um, but any type of uh, lash extension, you know, it definitely, it gets in the, they get in the way of a good blink, blink reflex. So it messes up like the tear film, it can cause dry eyes, but it definitely can cause lid irritation and, you know, blepharitis and demodex to get way too comfortable because you basically have something on there. So it kind of gets in the way of like the natural flow of um, tear film and things like that that coat the lashes and keep everything lubricated and like moving along, moving along. Anyway, y'all, I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.